In 2023, fishermen from northeastern Taiwan accidentally caught a 4.7 meter long. An individual weighing 800 kilograms, surprisingly, he turned out to be a pregnant female shark. He was pregnant with six cubs at the time. After being caught, the fisherman wanted to sell it to a nearby restaurant. However, it was later terminated at the persuasion of the museum. He was eventually sold to a museum. It is used to achieve the purpose of displaying and conducting popular science education. At a glance, the amazing thing about arm scale sharks is the color of their skin. Its skin is actually pink. But that's not the true color of their skin. The study found that Goblintha's skin doesn't actually have color. He's translucent. And it's this translucent skin that allows the blood on its body to show its color. That's why we have this pink skin. This is one of the most obvious differences between them and other sharks. It's not just skin pigmentation. They are also very unique in shape and appearance, mainly manifested in having a slender, flat, and exaggerated big nose on its head. Many people wonder what their big, flat nose does. Scientists say the main purpose of the nose is to assist sharks in finding food in deep, dark waters. The study found that sharks have sensory cells all over their big noses, and there are a lot of pores on the bottom. These pores are the openings of the Lawrence beard. Lawrence is a special organ called an electroreceptor. It can pick up electrical signals from its prey. As the arm washes sand and swims across the ocean floor, its nose will sweep across the bottom like a metal detector. No matter how well the prey is camouflaged or how deep it is buried in the sand, he can easily find it through electric field induction. Goblinza's diet is known to include bony fish, octopus squid, shrimp and crab, etc. Once prey is found, and they're going to hit like warriors with their ancestral superkiller catapults. This is their unique recipe. If we look closely, we'll see that. Goblinta has a highly forward jaw. His chin is covered with sharp nail-like teeth. When conducting an ejection attack, Arm bruises can swing the jaw down and back, then quickly open the large mouth and stretch the bite forward for a long distance. According to estimates, they can jaw forward at a maximum speed of 3.1 meters per second, and the dash length can reach 8.6%, 9.4% of the total length of the shark. They are the fastest river outbursts ever discovered. Highlight the longest shark. Phylogenetic evidence suggests that their facility behavior evolved to adapt to food-poor deep-sea environments. This may have been a change to balance the loss of a powerful swimming ability. In addition to bizarre shapes and exaggerated myopia, there is another thing that puzzles scientists about goblin killing. It's actually their liver. The study found that the weight of the goblin killing the liver actually accounts for one fee four of its weight. It's still not clear why their livers are so large. January 2007, a mysterious phone call suddenly arrived at Nishima Marine Park in Jingoka Prefecture south of Tokyo. The phone claims to be a fisherman from a nearby port, said he had discovered a strange-looking eel creature. He's got really sharp, horrible teeth in his mouth. Since I've never seen it, I don't know what kind of creature it is. So, hopefully the experts will go over and understand the situation. After hanging up the phone, Ocean Park immediately dispatched staff to investigate. Upon arrival at the scene, and sure enough, they saw the same strange creature that the fishermen had described. 
subsequent work. They caught him on camera. In the video, I saw this guy staggering forward in the water with his big mouth open like a big snake. Due to his extremely stiff movements, plus no movement in the eyes and a dim look. So it made him look very unreal. After the video was uploaded to social media, it generated a lot of attention and a lot of discussion. Many people also continued to question his authenticity. But this video is real. It was identified as a 1.6 meter long female puckered yarn. This is a deep sea shark. It usually lives in waters within 600 to 1 kilometer. This encounter in the diving area is rare. Gill is a very primitive shark. It is one of two species of sharks belonging to the family Scrofulariaceae. This guy has long furrowed gills covering each other. Hence the name, and because the body is longer, the abdomen and buttocks are both located at the tail, shaped like a lizard. Therefore, it is also known as thin evil. They are usually found in the waters of the outer continental shelf and upper continental slopes, and found throughout the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The reason why they are distributed like this, and that's because of the cephalopods in these places, Smaller sharks and bony fish are more abundant. These are the staple foods of the frilled gilled sharks. The study found that, as a shark, the bite of a frilled shark is far less powerful than that of other sharks. It can be said that the bite force is very weak. You know, this stupid puppet-like guy. Not with bite force. So how did they survive the extinction? It turns out that although the bite force is not good, but they're really good at catching people. There are up to 300 inwardly curved teeth located in the mouth of the crease. These specially shaped needle-like teeth, capable of easily clamping onto the soft bodies and tentacles of cephalic animals. When hunting, they curl their tails like eels and lie in wait on rocks. Once the prey appears, it will suddenly attack. Not only are teeth difficult, gill yarn can also expand the mouth and eat food much larger than its body size. This is quite similar to the Barbarian River Quicksfish. It is understood that the sudden three-kill expansion of evil and open mouth can swallow whole prey more than half their body size by observing the behavior of captive shark specimens, people also found that the wrinkled yarn hunts with its mouth open. They use the dark contrast between their white teeth and the environment to lure their prey. When the prey enters the confines of his open mouth, they immediately use negative pressure to inhale their prey into the stomach. So although they are weak on the outside, but the combat power is not low. Maybe that's why they were able to dodge a mass extinction and survive. August 28th, 2023 at 1 a.m. The Australian Maritime Safety Authority has received a mysterious call for help. The signal indicates that it is coming from the sea 800 kilometers off the coast of Khan. After receiving the signal, the authorities dare not neglect. A rescue mission was launched immediately. They discovered that the closest thing to the accident happened to be a cargo ship flying the flag of Panama. So the staff immediately coordinated the freighter to change direction and go to the nearest rescue. Finally, the cargo ship rescued three male crew members on a nine-meter-long inflatable catamaran. It is reported that the three members are international sailors from Russia and France. They were seasoned nautical adventurers. According to their description, there were three men in a catamaran on a world record-setting mission and challenged the longest sea voyage distance of an inflatable catamaran. In fact, 
They started departing from St. Petersburg as early as 2021. And it's been pretty good up front. Unexpectedly, when entering the waters near Australia, Bud was repeatedly attacked by a group of inexplicable marine creatures. The attack left a large number of holes in their hull and activated a distress signal due to a leak in the hull. Finally, the crew was rescued. The gas ship was abandoned and sunk into the sea. It stands to reason that inflatable catamarans are also considered to be relatively safe and reliable equipment. How could you be in this situation because of an attack by marine animals? Later investigation found that these are not ordinary marine animals. They turned out to be the famous little devil of the sea cigar Demosha. It is believed that these guys are already repeat offenders. There were a number of early acts of destruction of human infrastructure. In the 1970s, dozens of U.S. Navy submarines have been bitten by them. The sonar cover made of butadian rubber caused the internal ship to leak oil and lose the ability to navigate. Eventually, all the submarines had to put fiberglass covers around the domes. They seem to have a special liking for the intertwined objects that appear in the ocean. Because the intertwined outer layers of the cables on the ocean floor are also their targets. When people first discovered these mysterious holes, they suspected that they were man-made. Because these kiln mouths are too neat, it's not something that any other animal can do. How could they tear such a complete opening? And why are you interested in these colloidal materials? Cigar de Mosa, also known as Brazilian de Mosa, they are one of the most amazing sharks of Keshek de Mosha. The name is derived from its resemblance to cigars. This shark is widely distributed in the waters of the world and the oceans between 30 degrees south latitude and 30 degrees north latitude. They usually live in depths of 0 to 3,500 meters. The average Demosha body length is only 40 to 56 centimeter. This guy's not big, but it is a rather ferocious parasitic shark. They are one of the few shark species that emit a faint green light. And its luminescent device has the longest endurance of all sharks. Because this guy, even after three hours out of the water, the emitter still works. In the deep sea, they will lure their prey with the help of an illuminator in their abdomen. After the other party takes the bait, he will move forward quickly and rip off the flesh of the prey in a way that the body swirls. The prey he attacks will leave multiple pothole-like scars on the body. It's not just active in the deep sea. They also come to the surface at dark. Whales raiding the dive area. Large marine mammals such as dolphins and other fish. It is known that in its habitat, they've ambushed almost every animal they've ever named. For smaller prey, they will be bored. And for larger prey, they use a mobile strategy. Take a bite and retreat. Never love to fight. In a shared habitat, we found gaps in many animals where Demosha bit us. So how does this guy extract such neat pieces of meat from his prey? The study found that the oral anatomy of this baby shark can be said to be both bizarre and efficient. They have unique suction lips. Thick lips allow it to stick to the surface of its prey and form a good seal. After touching the prey, the next step is to use the highly active tongue in its mouth to create a powerful suction force. And suck the prey firmly. After the preliminary work is completed, the frosted, spiked upper and saw blade lower teeth are inserted into the prey to form a latch. This is followed by a violent rotation of the body and a violent vibration of the jaw. Soon, a cone-shaped piece of meat was cut off. Like other sharks, Cigar Demosha also replaces teeth throughout its life. 
but unlike other sharks, people change their teeth one by one. And this guy changes teeth in whole rows. The reason is that their lower teeth are connected. You can't change it one by one, can you? But here's the thing. This ensures that they always have a sharp set of teeth. And here's what's interesting. Old teeth that are replaced are not discarded, but was swallowed directly by them. It's said to be an effort to recover hard-won calcium and phosphate from nutrient-poor deep-sea environments. So, are they also raiding the colloidal material facility to obtain some hard-to-obtain substance? In fact, it's a beautiful misunderstanding. To eat, the cigar Demosha makes a vertical movement of more than 3,000 meters in the ocean every day. And when they come to the surface, it's usually pitch black. Plus, the power of this guy is not good. When they see an inflatable boat with a large surface area and a soft flat surface, I will inevitably make a trough in my heart. Is this a whale? It looks like it. Then let me taste it. Oh no, this goldfish tastes really bad. It tastes like rubber. It's not for me. And the other friends who came later said that it was so bad. I don't believe it. I'll have a bite too. My FAQ, this is really what I want to pay. Brothers withdraw. Go home and sleep. <laughs>